Hi guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So today is about a pretty basic topic of Studio One, but yet it's something that not every user is aware of. And that's how you can use Studio One with multiple displays. Now, I use Studio One with just one widescreen display, and I really like the fact that we have all of the additional windows, such as the console view and the musical editor, as attached windows. But did you know that you can also detach them, uh, show multiple editors at once even, and much more? Well, that's what I want to show you today. First of all, what are the advantages of using Studio One with multiple displays compared with one big singular display? Well, for example, it allows you to have your entire song arrangement on just one display and everything that has to do with mixing and the console could be on yet another display. If you're choosing to put your mixer console on its own display, for instance, not only does this give you much more screen real estate to show all of your insert and send effect chains, but it would also uh, be potentially beneficial when it comes to decoupling your mixer console workflow from your arrangement workflow a little bit. And why you might want to look into that is explained in my video. Tracks and channels are not the same and is linked right here. In order to detach or resize the mixer, first open it up by clicking here on Mix. This shows the Mixer console in Studio One. Then you can, first of all, adjust the fader height just like that. This is something that not a lot of uh, users are aware of, I find time and time again. And if you go all the way to the lowest height, note that the input and output configurations are hidden to make even more space to show something else on top of the mixer. But if you want to detach it and decouple it so that you can place it on a second display, then this is the button to click where it says detach. It's this arrow pointing upwards. Just click on it and then you'll get a floating window with the mixer, which you can toggle with the F3 key. You also have these two buttons here to make the faders either in a singular row or show the insert effects on top. You can also make everything a bit more narrow so you can show more faders at once. And if you do this, then you get level meters instead here at the top. You can also mix and match. Um, for example, you can double click a channel to show the wide view, or you could also use the console option, auto expand selected channel to have this behavior follow your current uh, channel selection, like so. Also really handy. But if I already decided that I want to dedicate an entire display to the mixer console, then I probably don't have to be too sparing with screen real estate and I can show the full channel width. So in that case, I would probably just click detach and then just click here to maximize the mixer console to full screen. And now you can see plenty of space to show very big faders, but also the entire insert chain, even on channels that have a lot of sound design going on. But of course, all of the settings that I've just shown you in attached mode are also available in full screen mode as well. So you can also click here to show narrow view, and then you can have these insanely large DBFS meters if you prefer. You can also double click and mix and match to your liking, or use the previously shown auto select and auto expand option. Or if you have something like a Steven Slate Raven, for instance, one of these big multi-touch displays, you can once once again, opt for the one row setup, for example, if you'd like, by clicking here and then here. And these kind of faders on a big display gives you an insanely fine resolution when mixing with your hands, which is one of the reasons why it's so great that Studio One is a fully supportive multi-touch DAW. Now what's true for the mixer console is true for the musical editor as well. So whenever you open up an instrument part or an audio event by double clicking, you'll find the same familiar arrow to detach and then you can resize it, put it on a separate display or click the full screen button. And uh, this is particularly great if you want to show multiple part automation lanes, for instance, for velocities. One difference though between the mixer console and the musical editor is that after you click the arrow to detach, you'll also find this pin icon here, which keeps the editor open so that you can open yet another one. Notice as I'm clicking this pin icon here, the editor is not lit in blue anymore at the bottom right, indicating that I can open up yet another one. And this is great if you wanna show the score view, for instance, in parallel to your classic MIDI notation. Also great from a music education standpoint, in my opinion. So whether you're composing, mixing, or editing, Studio One gives you great flexibility and freedom when working with multiple displays. 
and I can't encourage you enough to try all of the different options that are available. Thank you for watching.